Hey beauties, good afternoon. Let us delve into understanding some things about the miraculous and powerful working God that we serve. Now, when Jesus was basically, um, you know, on his road to leaving earth, you know, after dying for us, being buried and then resurrected, you know, on his journey, he said, Look, listen to me. There are Christians who are going to do greater works. It doesn't mean greater in terms of power. Like you wonder, I wonder if it's Jesus I should worship or that person. No. In terms of the plethora, the various types of miracles and and so on. That's what he really was talking about. And uh, with that reality, there is a particular scripture in Acts 19 verse 12. And what had happened is that people brought their handkerchiefs and aprons to Paul and when he touched them and pray over them that power that he would have gotten from God himself went on those so it's not a matter that him do boogly woogly in a will be our witchcraft no it's a power of God and they, they took the aprons and the handkerchiefs to those who were ill who were sick and it healed them and those who were possessed by evil spirits they were delivered from it because I want people to understand that Paul was a consummate narcissist. A lot of people say, boy, Paul thought he was doing the right thing. Men, even people who are doing evil thing, they're doing good. There are people who are doing evil thing that they're doing good. But when Paul was delivered, basically, from a sort of evil mindset, when God turned him from Saul to Paul, that fellow was a fully transformed human being, not perfect. And because he, re he had the assurance, he reassured himself in God that look here god not not wanting on this planet is impossible with you you said greater works we're gonna do we're gonna show that greater works so god used paul as that vessel so paul never forgot and say oh boogly, 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 and put over the aprons and the handkerchiefs it is because of his walk and his belief and faith in god in christ that was he was able that when he touched it and prayed over it and did whatever through god the same people could have taken the aprons and the handkerchiefs and go and touch those who were ill, those who were possessed by demons, and they would have been healed and delivered, respectively. How is your walk with God? Your walk with God has nothing to do with your outward appearance. It has to do with your heart. God can see right through all of this. Whether you want to be without makeup, with makeup, without jewelry, with jewelry, no hat, cream here, process here, tattoo, piercings, it matters not talks about your heart and the type of life you're living you're loving god with all of your heart with all of your soul and your neighbors yourself guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel